were cheered all the way up to the middle. Everyone off the backside, standing up, cheering him up to the middle. And this is last test match. Chapel facing Abdul Qadir. A spin that's in the air, but safe. And will beat Kazim away to the boundary. Greg Chapel's first boundary. And Australia moved to two for 75. Good shot. Safras can't get the boot on it. And that's away to the boundary. Shot. Beautiful shot. Azim to Chapel. That's going to beat Ozan and Karia over the boundary rope. So Greg Chapel showing a bit more aggression after T. Safrez to Chapel again. Quick single. In comes Mosen. He'll shy the stumps. Chapel's home. And they're overthrows. This could be it. Chapel turning for the second. He'll be back for the third. Hughes is flying. He'll come back for the fourth. And this run makes Greg Chappell the most prolific scorer of runs in the history of cricket in Australia. 18,000 people rise to their feet and cheer one of the greatest batsmen of all time. And Chappell smiles. But listen to the crowd. There's the jump for the side. And there the two. Kasim picks up. Chapel comes back for the second. And he has now scored 7,000 runs in Test cricket. He's the first Australian batsman to reach that target and becomes the sixth batsman in the history of the game to have scored 7,000 runs. Chapel, in fact, looking for just one run to be the highest scorer for Australia against Pakistan at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Amazingly, no Australian has made a century against Pakistan here, although this is only the third test between the two countries on this ground. And that uh, boundary will take him to 83 and that score. Beating your old mate Redder, Staffy. You see, and what a great way to start the day for Greg Chapel. The new ball, only in its fifth over, and with that boundary, he knocks off Ian Redpath's record. That's in the air, but picking the gap between the third slip and gully. That'll be a way for the eighth boundary to Greg Chapel, and also brings up the Australian 250. Greg Chapel in a very aggressive mood this morning. Three boundaries to start the morning. Australia, three for 254. Shot. Don't quite go. Outfield a little slow there. Border's coming back quickly to the third. Good running from Alan Border. Good support. And a fine shot. It wasn't all that short. He was quickly on the back foot and hit it right in the middle of the bat. Nine boundaries. 98 runs. Swips it down. Safraz comes in. Gets a single. He goes to 99. It throws by Mosin. Nui gave some overthrows again. What a, what a coincidence, Richie, that would have been. But how annoyed would have Safraz been? Shot. Beautiful stroke. What a marvellous way to bring up 100 with the classic cover drive we've seen so often over the years from this great player. His wife, Judy, is so pleased. She knows this is his last international game of cricket for Australia. A century to Greg Chappell. Another Chappell drive and... It's another classic, beautifully timed, perfectly placed, 
And four from the minute that left the bat. Oh, what a shot. Beautiful timing, that ball just a little short outside off stump. And on this occasion, it's cut off by Zahir. Down at the backward point. So for picking that uh, hook shot up and a couple of bounces over the boundary. It's four for 348. It's 138 not out at the moment. That is a tremendous performance. Good shot too. Nice way to go on to 142. Got that through. The outfield is quicker over there. It's going downhill. Four more to Chapel. 150 up for Greg Chapel. Beautiful. Beautiful stroke. Placed with precision. And not hit all that hard but with super timing. Attempted bouncer. And Greg, Chappell, uh, Greg Chappell's right on top form today. That's close. Yes, indeed. Kept a bit low, played across it, and I think it would have hit uh, about middle and leg. And the whole crowd rises now to Greg Chappell. 182 in his last test match innings. He made 108 in his first test match innings in Perth. 182 in his last test match innings at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Former Australian captain one of the greatest players ever to wear the baggy green cap and to grace the cricket field on behalf of this country.